Hi, it's Mama J. And I just want to throw out uh, The Three Faces of Eve. That's a movie. I'm not sure if it's on a DVD or VHS tape, okay? However, that movie was the based on a true story, I do believe, was the first movie that portrayed or was when someone was first diagnosed with multiple personality disorder. And it was called Three Faces of Eve because she had three different distinct personalities. And uh, in 1988, the first movie fiction Nonfiction, whatever it was. Uh, Fatal Attraction was the first movie to portray borderline personality disorder. Unlike Sybil, Sybil, that I have been forbidden to watch because, uh, yeah, they don't think that I can handle Sybil. Sybil, I believe they say is based on a true story and she had at least 16 distinct personalities. And I can only go by what people say. I would love to look at it, but I have no idea how triggering it may be. So I'm respecting all my doctors and those that were in form of the dialectic behavior therapy groups. Um, so, yeah, because I guess I'm an overly sensitive individual, they don't think that it would be very wise for me to do that. And why is there such a glare when I'm upstairs? I just can't get this together. At any rate, no, I didn't really come on here for anything in particular. Haven't gained no more extra knowledge other than just want to let people know, please, please, please. I encourage you to take every little piece of information you can get from different people, jot it down, compare it, and make sure that you're not being stared in the wrong direction. Because I can read something and I can interpret it one way, present it, and you can get totally confused from it. So that's why I always tell people, do your research, be your best advocate, okay? And yeah, it's going to be kind of hard not to talk about borderline personality disorder since that has been like my highlight for a year. However, dissociative identity disorder has caused me to put three people out of my life blocked them deleted them got rid of them okay when i start telling people they have to be their best advocate i had to eat those own words mm. eat my own words i have very few very few little people in my life and sometimes you just didn't care if they accepted you or didn't accept you and they treated you like crap just so that you can have somebody there. I am a very unique individual and most people cannot deal with me. I'm very unique and I'm overly sensitive on top of everything else, okay? So a lot of people don't know how to handle that. And if you come at me the wrong way, I'm very timid. I will break down and start crying. And I'm trying to learn not to do that. And it's a, pro it's a process. The same way in dealing with when your doctor tells you something, it's a process. And after you digest it, then it's a process for you to do your homework and learn more about you so that you can help those those to know about you to help you on this journey so you don't have to walk it alone 
Um, yeah, what is today's date? Because I can't wait to 30. I'm 19 days in on doing my 40 sit-ups. No, I haven't put none up here. I'm struggling. It's a struggle to do 40 than what it was to do 30. Yeah. And anybody that looks at this would probably be like, okay, and what was her main purpose of coming on here? Well, the main purpose was to tell you, check out the movie, Three Faces of Eve. And if you don't have very many triggers, look at Sybil. S-Y-B-I-L. There's also a weird movie, Girls Interrupted. I'm still trying to figure out how that movie demonstrates borderline personality disorder. But in looking at that, I saw five different diagnoses, I think. It was weird. Interesting, hard to follow. But it was interesting. Okay, that's it. I really didn't have too much to say today. I think I just wanted to look at myself and talk. Now that's sad. You know that? That's sad. Okay, bye-bye.